All right, guys, welcome back. And this is the yard of the day. It's a small yard, but it is overgrown in sections. I'll start over here. It's definitely a cleanup. And it's a little frustrating because the yard is so small that the larger mower can't get to some areas, including the gate in the backyard. But here we've got a horribly weed infested <laughs> front yard which is nothing compared to the backyard. I'm going to just peek around the corner here because there's just a little strip there on this side. So we're, it's only like four feet of grass there between the two yards that I gotta get up there. And then the other side is like a pie piece. I don't know how long it's been. It's probably been a couple of months since the last mow. Oh, and I've got the Great Dane here. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be using it much on this, its first cleanup in a long time. But I will be using it here in the front yard. And this little kind of a wedge piece here. Then the side yard here is a little bit larger pie piece. Don't know if you'll hear me over that air conditioner. You can see where the line is. Right there where that fence is. So with the mulch door on, I'll be able to mow in here with the Great Dane. And I'll stop talking until I get past that air conditioner. So here's your gate, which is too small. And then, well, would you just look at that? I don't think I've ever seen so many dollar weeds. Let me get closer to that. Look at that. Just ridiculous. So I don't think, well there's a little grass. There's some grass under there. But definitely a dollar weed problem. <laughs> and this is a rental so nothing's ever going to get done about it. And so I'll just be mowing dollar weed constantly. And we got a pretty big area here, a little bit overgrown. It would be great if I could get the Great Dane in here, but I just can't. So the craftsman will be doing this. Just a little tuck in around the corner. But, you know, so in some sections I'll be able to have the chute open on the Craftsman, like right here, I think it's, I'm going to have to mulch that. Maybe, maybe I'll just, no, I'm going to have to mulch it because dollar weed, it will stand the chance of spraying all the way over here and it'll stick to the house and the windows. So, yeah, the door's going to have to be shut right there. Over here, maybe I'll have it open for sections. But I don't know. Anyway, it's a small yard. Thank God. Because I have to use a smaller mower. And uh, that's about it. Might as well just start mowing. Enjoy.
Alrighty, as per protocol, it's raining. And I'm sitting here with an electric blower and a non-waterproof camera. So I will wait it out. What this is going to do is it's going to make that backyard real wet with all that dollar weed. And so when I go through there with the Craftsman, when I have the uh, mulching door closed, it's going to make paste. But some of it I'm going to have with the uh, side discharge chute on there. And so that will go pretty well. Uh, time will tell. I don't know. But anyway, I should be able to make it look pretty good. Looks like it is starting to clear up, so let's get back to it.
so now I have dollar weed paste all over my Craftsman. It's all under there. So I'm going to have to, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do actually. But if you guys um, may have recognized the shoot blocker from my Snapper 48, it is the same one. It is an exact fit. And I'm happy about that. But here's the yard. Yeah, I bet you didn't know there was a border under all that mess. Not too bad considering. And let's go around to the back. And the back doesn't look fantastic. So, I mean, this is just going to... Nothing like mowing dollar weed when it's wet. It's a disaster. Over here came out a little better. There's a little more actual grass. I found a big hole. There must have been another palm tree here that died at some point. But that is about it. We've got a little bit of dollar weed paste permanently stuck to the back patio, but that will come off in the next storm, which will be today. And that is it. All right, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, y'all have a good one. You can expect more because I'm a magnet for these. See you later.